Hi, my name is Peter Goldberg, and I'm a PhD student in chemistry at the University of Michigan. Unlike most people I know, I love a fresh salad. But when I combine oil and vinegar to make a vinaigrette, they refuse to mix. I can shake it all I want, but it goes back to two separate layers every time. I can't dress a salad with this. The vinegar just runs straight to the bottom. Mixing issues like this aren't limited to salad dressing, however. They can occur any time you combine two materials. Polymer solar cells, like this one here, could be a cheap and portable source of power. But the polymers separate just like oil and vinegar. Within a year, the solar cell in my backpack is useless. <coughs> to fix our mixing crisis and make a salad dressing, we can add a third ingredient like honey. Oil and vinegar hate touching each other, but there are parts of the honey that like the oil and other parts that like the vinegar. The honey squeezes itself in between the oil and vinegar to create a barrier. They are no longer touching, so there is no separation. Unlike simple shaking, adding honey changes the chemical interactions to form a mixture that is shelf stable. Our solar cells are made from polymers, the same materials used to make cheap plastics. Polymers are long molecules made from many smaller, repeating units. When they are mixed to make the solar cell, they form large regions of each component. Shaking the mixture helps, but to make a solar cell that lasts decades, we need to mimic the behavior of honey. We did this by adding a copolymer, made by combining one unit from each of the two polymers in the solar cell. It would be attracted to both polymers because it contains a piece of each and creates a barrier between them similar to honey. We pioneered a simple procedure to make this copolymer and added it to solar cells. It works. The solar cells last longer. However, they made less power, so the mixing is better, but not perfect. We discovered that how the copolymer is linked together has a huge effect on mixing. I'm developing new chemistry to make copolymers that can find the mixing sweet spot. My research shows that adding copolymers to solar cells improves mixing to make them last longer. This is just one step in bringing polymer solar cells closer to you, but even more important is where you can bring them. They're an ideal power source for living off the grid, whether you're in a remote village or on a camping trip because we wouldn't want to separate you from your devices, and we don't want the polymers in our solar cells to separate either. When it comes to renewable energy options, we want to put polymer solar cells into the mix. Thank you.